uh, Bhuvan 2D. So how this Bhuvan 2D exactly works? So in this uh, Bhuvan series, we'll be talking about uh, all the all the important toolbars that are present in this Bhuvan platform and how to use them. Mainly the important the practicality of this Bhuvan platform. So we'll go to Bhuvan 2D. Yeah. I agree. Then you can see this is a to do view to D view of the Indian of the country India. Okay. So so here a 2D visualization can be seen yes. for our country. So this Bhuvan platform provides you data only for all the cities or all the important places or all the villages, panchayats for the country of India. So you can see. So here you can see there are different types of layer. Okay. So first is a vector map. If you want only the roads and the some important lines like canal line and all. So here we have uh, different types of layers, vector map, satellite map, hybrid map, terrain map, hydrology map. So if you see a vector map, when you zoom in, you will find uh, uh, some important uh, roads, then canal lines. Then if you see the satellite map, you can zoom it. So here you can see the what type of image it is showing, which satellite you show set two, least three, then high resolution data one meter. So when you zoom in and zoom out, you can see your resolution and your latitude, longitude here on the right corner. Okay. So if you see, this is the maximum one meter resolution that is available in this Bhuvan platform, and it is provided by the high resolution data, and the data is of six March two thousand nineteen. So then, if you have a hybrid map, hybrid map which will have both satellite and vector map. We have a both satellite and vector map combined. Then you can see it as a hybrid map. Then comes terrain map. Terrain map, map which are physiographic means are mountains, plateaus. So wherever you find such, you see here in the northeast you have so many mountains. So this is a 2D view. So in Bhuban 3D you can have a 3D view of this terrain mappings. Then we have the hydrology map. Hydrology map, as the name suggests, it is a map of rivers, your important rivers, distributaries, then small canals, okay, so the, your water bodies. So all these will be visible. And, and the best part of this uh, uh, Bhuban 2D is uh, like if you want to draw a river, if you want to draw the course of a river, so you can use this. Uh, command here draw tool you can use this command here draw tool draw a polyline and you can draw that entire course of the river and then go to finish then you give a name r1 summit r12 summit then the best thing is you can download its save file download the save file of your polyline okay and you can also draw some polygons over here you can draw some polygons over here if you you want to make this as your study area, then go to finish. So you give P1. So you can download this polyline. You can download this uh, polygons. So this is the best thing that is available in this Google platform. And if you don't want, we can delete. You can delete everything. Clear all. So everything will be deleted. So here another option is there. Measure area tool. Like if you want to measure. You zoom it, you zoom it, then you can measure. So you go to measure, create new measurement, then you click on this point, then you go to this point, you will get the latitude, longitude you got, then you got the path distance. Like I want to measure the length of this railway line, finish measurement. If I want to measure the length of this railway line, then click it here, then I zoom out, zoom out, drag this and I can click it here again. So I'll get the length around 14 kilometers. So all these facilities are available. Uh, first is the which type of uh, map you want, whether a vector map, satellite, hybrid, terrain or hydrology. Then if you want to log in for downloading the data. Uh, I think for downloading the data, don't no need to log in. 
but it's better to do everything once you log in because all your data will be saved if you're saving it so these are the layers that can be used and we can draw some save files and export it to our uh, respective uh, gis platform then we can measure the area then we can point our locations of interest the another important thing here that can be done here add layer means you can add your save file or your kml file or your raster file or your web map service wmas is web map service so you can load your files and you can check out whether your save file or your kml file is in proper location or not for cross verification you can use this one then we have you can add some photos there to cross check whether it is directly um, getting placed over the same photographic image or not then Bubon store collaborations okay so another important thing here is that you can use this like uh, you can use the, there are so many you want the corona data the high resolution data 25 centimeter then 2.5 meter data okay so the once you select like i will select this 360 degree view so 360 degree view means all over india only four places uh, they have assigned uh, for a 360 degree view like if i click on this uh, chitorgot fort it is chitorgot fort so you can have a 360 degree view of this chitorgot fort you can also see here here it is so you can see a 360 degree view it is prepared by national remote sensing center or the isro okay so this is the 360 degree view of chitra here you can see the salar Jung museum 360 degree view so these four places are having four not another in we have in rajasthan two more i think Achha. another one fort is also there i think mandor fort this is also is having so uh, gradually they are increasing the number of points so initially four or two five points they have uh, developed uh, this 360 degree view for visualization of the users so this is the entire uh, 2d platform of the bhuvan uh, website so you can use it uh, for your uh, cross verification of your save file or you can prepare your own save file looking into your study area using this uh, draw tool or you, if you want to measure some distances for statistical purpose then you can use this platform then then we can navigate into the bhuvan 3d then we can navigate into bhuvan 3d so as the name suggests uh, three dimensional view uh, will be visualized by the users or it is presented in a three dimensional view for the users so now you can see so we can use different 3d models uh, like uh, uh, for bengaluru for bengaluru uh, recently we have seen the general post office it had a 3d it was designed in a 3d model so if you click on the general post office you can have a clear picture like this so this is the 3d model of the general post office that was recently infrastructure in Beng Bengaluru. So like this the high code can also be visible in a 3D view. So 3D view this Bhuvan 3D platform is mostly for this uh, visualization purpose. So for this visualization for a three dimensional view of your study area you can use this platform. So like this you can see for so here also you can add uh, the layers like rivers have added so if you want a 3d view just you can rotate this structure and you can have a 3d view of your this is the 3d platform like i want to go to a place go on Ishwar. It will directly take me to Bhubaneswar. So here you can visualize. So here you can have a three three dimensional view of these buildings and all. So this is how you can visualize. Like if you want to 
overlap like here also you can add your uh, add layer you can add your raster layer kml layer then once you add your raster layer or kml layer or your shape file so in bhuvan 2d you are having only a 2d visualization here the uh, main objective is to provide a three dimensional visualization to the users you can add infrastructure road and rail so there you can have a three dimensional or 360 degree view of the of your uh, study area then this is the forum bhuvan discussion forum like you will get the updates the usability the pocket bhuvan then uh, you can you log in and you can search for your required queries so in 3d only the important thing is what uh, you can uh, if you want to see uh, any 3d images uh, like those are recently built like in indian bureau of mines so the building has a 3d view so we can have a 3d view of this building can see you can see a 3d view so this was all about uh, bhuvan 2d and bhuvan 3d so in the next uh, videos we will be looking into this bhuvan light bhuvan open data archive then climate and environment and how to download uh, those satellite data from nrsc and how to order the satellite data from nrsc then how to use this uh, thematic services so all these will be discussed in the upcoming videos so for the timing you can use the bhuvan 2d and bhuvan 3d for data visualization and for downloading of your shape file so bhuvan 2d is mostly used for downloading of your uh, or uh, demarcating your exact uh, study area shape file and in bhuvan 3d you can um, post your uh, say kml or shape file layer and you can visualize and have a three dimensional view of your area that how many buildings are there uh, what is the how many rivers are there how many water bodies are there how many plants are there so you can have a three dimensional view using this bhuvan 3d so thank you everyone for your patience so in this series we will be completing the entire bhuvan platform okay so stay tuned with us please like share and subscribe to our channel thank